Hi everyone, it's me with another camera lens review and this time I have the Sigma 30mm f1.4 lens. This lens will only fit cropped sensor cameras. This is quite an old lens now and it's been a popular one as it lets in a lot of light being an f1.4 lens and it has a useful 30mm focal length. Everyone's crazy about getting a fast 50mm lens, a 50mm f1.8 or 1.4, and they're good lenses, but they're not lenses you can really use for everyday shooting, because 50mm on a crop sensor camera is zoomed in a lot. A 30mm lens, like this one, is much more convenient. It gives a much wider field of view. As you can see, it comes with a fancy case and a lens hood. And overall, this lens is built like a tank. It's pretty heavy and wide, it's based on a metal lens mount, and it looks really good on your camera. Its focus ring is smooth, but a little stiff, as you can see here. But the travel isn't too long, so it's easy to use during filmmaking. It uses an HSM autofocus motor, so it's quiet and fast, and you can adjust the focus even if it's in manual mode. Listen carefully, see if you can hear it working. This lens is fantastic for shooting indoors. At f1.4, it lets in plenty of light for you to keep your shutter speed up, and you get a nice, narrow depth of field. Sorry for my untidy room, by the way. The wider angle of view means that your footage will look less shaky than with a 50mm lens, and the focus ring is smooth enough for you to use on the fly. The colours and contrast of the lens are both good, even at f1.4, and it's very resistant to flare coming from bright light sources. The quality of the bokeh is also very nice and smooth. Here, my radiator will help you see the narrow depth of field at f1.4. It's much better than any kit lens. Sound! At f1.4, the lens is sharp enough for filmmaking that any stills photographers will be disappointed. These are 18 megapixel images and the lens is really soft at f1.4 from the middle and getting worse in the corners. Things get considerably better when you stop down to f2 and the lens is sharp from f2.8. Here it is back in the middle. And here's f4 and f5.6. The lens isn't only soft at f1.4, but there's heavy ghosting at contrasting edges, even in the middle of the image where the quality should be strongest. This particular photo is correctly in focus, and as you can see, the ghosting is simply out of control. I'm really disappointed with the picture quality of this lens at f1.4. I'm getting fun, creative images, that's for sure but the pictures are soft as anything, and I wouldn't want to use this lens for any kind of important event. Another major problem is that the autofocus is pretty inaccurate. My lens is missing about 10-15% to of shots, especially at f1.4. This is not good. I've heard all over the internet that this is actually a normal problem for this particular lens. So, at the end of the day, if you want to get down to f1.4 for creativity, for instance to get a narrow depth of field at 30mm you get this wide background, or if you want to do filmmaking in low light conditions, then this could be a good lens for you. However, if you really care about picture quality, especially sharpness, then this lens does not have your name on it. This particular lens is a lot of fun, but the picture quality is seriously missing.